Yo, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys the best money methods to do this week in GTA 5 Online. Now, I'm going to be showing you guys a total of seven different money methods jammed all into this one video. I'm gonna try to keep it as short as possible, but as you guys know, seven money methods is a lot to put all in one video. But before getting into it, if you guys do go on to enjoy today's video, definitely do me a favor, go down below and drop a like. Also hit that subscribe button with post notifications turned on. That way you never miss out on a future GTA five online video just like this one but now let's get straight into the very first money method so getting into the very first money method we're going to be doing the auto shop contract missions now if you guys do not know with the auto shop this week we have lots of really good money methods and this first one is going to be the auto shop contracts so simply enter your auto shop and once you guys are inside of here go up the stairs and come over here to this board right now where the contracts are available you guys can see these contracts are going to be paying anywhere from three hundred fifty thousand to six hundred thousand dollars per contract contract and these don't take that long at all so now go ahead and start up whichever one you guys want to i recommend starting up this one right here the union depository contract because it pays you guys the most money but any contract that you guys start up you're going to have to do two setups and then we have the main heist which is going to pay us the finale amount anyway i'm going to quickly run through this because like i said i'm trying to make this video as short as possible for you guys but basically the first setup for the union depository contract all you have to do is go over to an apartment shoot everybody and then once you shoot everybody you're going to pick up like a key card and that key card is going to let you guys go to the elevator and then go down once you guys are down in the elevator you guys are going to arrive at a garage and in that garage is going to be the getaway vehicle that we're going to be using for the main finale in this contract heist now once you guys get that getaway vehicle you simply have to go and park it underneath the union depository and once you guys do that you have to leave the area and boom you are now done with the very first setup and since this is a money method, I thought I'd mention that after the setup, you guys get paid around $10,000, which for sure isn't the best amount, but we're going to be getting the full amount of money when we do the finale. Anyway, we have one more uh, setup to do. So simply go back over to your auto shop and we're going to have to go ahead and complete that. So the second setup for the union depository contract is called the vault code. Once again, I'm going to try to speed run through this. That way I don't waste your guys time. Basically for this one, all you have to do is go over to LSIA and pick up one of the uh, police helicopters once you guys get that police helicopter you have to take it over to this location where it's going to be a whole bunch of cars now you're looking for the blue porsche car once you guys find the blue porsche car whoever is flying the helicopter is basically going to want to click right on the d-pad and they're going to want to source the right car it's pretty simple it's kind of self-explanatory but once they source the right car you're basically going to want to follow it over here to this hotel once you follow it to this hotel you're going to have to take a picture of a businessman once he's hugging a girl as soon as you guys take that picture it's going to tell you to basically leave the area and once you guys leave the area boom you the mission is passed and you guys get another ten thousand dollars so in total you'll get right around twenty thousand dollars for both setups you guys gotta drop a like for that i explained both of those setups in like a minute and a half anyway once you guys did both of those setups now we have the finale so go ahead and start with the finale i recommend having at least one friend help you do this that way you don't have trouble while doing this just in case you end up having trouble it's not that hard at all though i'm gonna go over it right now so first what you need to do is go over to the parking lot where we parked our getaway vehicle and once you guys get to that parking lot you basically have to get inside of that car and take it over inside of the union depository once you guys are inside of the union depository you basically have to go all the way up to the elevator and once you guys go in the elevator it's going to take you down to the vault once you guys are in the vault it's pretty simple all you have to do is take all of the gold until you guys have your bag completely full now that's going to be you and your friend or if you guys have more people just make sure you guys have all of your duffel bags completely full of gold that way you get the most money out of this contract anyway once you guys steal all of the gold you're basically going to want to exit and once you guys exit, you're going to fight a whole bunch of cops. For this part, you're going to want to make sure you are careful because if you do die, you only have one life. So definitely make sure you guys try not to die. And yeah, once you guys are escaped and you guys cross the road over to your getaway vehicle, it's going to be just your normal car that you park there. You're going to want to get in there and go drive to the location that it tells you guys to go to. Now, once you guys have arrived at the location, you are now going to be getting paid your full amount that the contract told you that you guys were going to get. Of course, if you didn't start this one, you might get a different amount but for the union depository one here's how much you get paid right around five hundred eighty five thousand dollars which is a lot of money also four thousand rp and in total this should take you no longer than 30 minutes to complete fully so this is for sure going to be one of the best ways for you guys to make millions of dollars this week in gta 5 online but of course this isn't the only money method in this video so now let's get into the second money method in today's video all right now getting into the second money method we're going to be doing the double money and double rp adversary mode so in order 
order to start this up, open up your pause menu, come over here to online, go to jobs, play job, rockstar created, go to adversary mode, and you're going to want to look for this adversary mode right here. It is called sumo. It's going to be double money and double RP this entire week. So go ahead and start up whichever one of these you guys want to. Now, once you guys are in the game, what you're going to want to do for the settings is put the number of teams set to four and then go down to where it says first to win and set that to seven rounds. That's going to be the max amount of rounds you guys can go to. And then for the lock vehicle class, it's completely up to you. I personally like to have it on super because I don't like to do this with slow cars because you're going to be hitting each other off. And yeah, go ahead and start this up. I recommend having um, as many people as possible in the game with you. That way you have the most fun. This is a game mode that you actually will be having a great time while doing. And you're going to be getting paid and also getting a good amount of RP while doing it. Now, let me quickly explain it. As you guys know, I always explain these adversary modes to you guys, just in case you guys have never played it before. So Sumo is a really easy game to understand. Basically, there's going to be four different teams and all four of those teams are going to be different colors. There's going to be two people on each team and whatever color you guys are you're basically just going to want to hit every single color that is not yours off of the area you guys can see this map that i chose we are on top of a building but let's say you guys are pink like me you're just going to want to hit and ram every single other color off of the area until your team is the last standing and once your team is the last standing you end up winning the round and now let me show you guys how much money you get every time you win a round so you guys can see of course i just clutched it up for my team and we ended up winning the round now here's how much money and rp you guys get i'm going to show you guys how much first place second place third and fourth gets you can see i got first so we got paid $5,000 and also 480 RP. And you guys can see how much second, third, and fourth place got. Now, that didn't seem like a lot, but at the end of the game mode, you actually get paid a pretty decent amount. You guys can actually see right now I'm coming up on the end of the match. And here's how much money my team got for winning the entire game. Like I said, it all adds up. It depends how many rounds you go to, of course. But you can see right here, we are the match winner. And I got paid a total of $113,000. And take a look at the RP, not too bad almost 8,000 RP so it's not that bad when it comes to making money you need depositories for sure probably better but if you're looking into making money with a whole bunch of friends and also having a good time as well as earning a good amount of RP this is for sure gonna be a great option for you anyway let's get into the third money method so getting into the third money method we're going to be doing the auto shop deliveries now if you guys do not know these are paying double money and double RP this entire week and it's super good to make fast and easy money so all you're gonna want to do is go inside your auto shop and come up to these vehicles that spawn inside of your auto shop randomly and click right d-pad then click service to service the vehicle from here all you're going to want to do is follow the instructions that it's telling you to do at the bottom middle of your screen you can see it's telling me right now to change the color to ice white which i just did and then now it's telling me to put the you know the upgrade engine to level one the street transmission all that you're basically just going to want to follow exactly what it tells you to put on the car and if you did it correctly it's going to have a green dot at the bottom right just like that make sure you don't mess anything up because if you mess up one of these upgrades and don't do it exactly as it tells you it's going to end up paying you less than it actually is supposed to and once you guys are done with that all we have to do now is click confirm and once you guys click confirm it's going to cost thirty-five thousand. don't worry you'll get that back and from here don't click where it says deliver vehicle with a staff just deliver the vehicle by yourself trust me it's super easy and you won't have to worry about your staff accidentally crashing the vehicle but once you guys go deliver it to the customer it shouldn't be too far away you can see mine is only around uh, three miles away so make sure on the way there you don't crash the vehicle because if you do crash the vehicle you guys are going to be getting paid a little bit less than you are supposed to and once you guys arrive at the location, you're basically just going to want to deliver it right here at the yellow circle. Now, hopefully you guys didn't crash it at all. You guys can see I didn't crash my vehicle. That way I'm going to get the full amount. Anyway, once you guys have delivered it and you guys go through the cutscene, here's how much money you get paid every single time you do one of these auto shop deliveries, which is actually pretty good. You can see you get paid $85,000 and that should take you no longer than three minutes in total to do. And yeah, you can only do this two times because there's only two vehicles inside your auto shop then you'd have to wait anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes basically just until another vehicle spawns inside your auto shop but you guys can be doing this every time you have a vehicle inside of there anyway let's now get into the fourth money method in today's video 
So getting into the next money method, we are now going to be doing the time trial, which is the easy way to get $100,000 in less than two minutes. So you're first going to want to make your way to this exact location here on the map. It's going to be right next to the Maze Bank CEO office. Come over here and then go on top of the parking structure because that's where the actual time trial is going to be located at. Make sure you guys bring a fast motorcycle up here. And once you guys are up here, click right D-pad on the time trial to start it. Just stay still though. Open up your pause menu and we're going to want to mark where the waypoint is at, which is going to be right here on the left side of the map. Once you guys have marked it, drop your pause menu, open up your phone, click right here in the middle, then click X and then A to quit the time trial. From here, you're now going to want to line yourself up. And whenever you guys are ready, you're going to want to click right D-pad to start the time trial. As soon as you start it, you're going to want to jump down off of this ramp and land kind of a, in a diagonal way just like that. That way you don't fall off your bike when you land. Anyway, once you guys have landed, you're simply going to want to follow the waypoint exactly as it tells you. Make sure you guys hold RT all the way down and also your left joystick all the way up. That way you're going the complete max speed. Anyway, once you guys get to the finish line, you guys will be getting paid. You guys can see here's how much money you get, $102,000, which is a really good amount of money for only two minutes of doing a simple race. So getting into the fifth money method in today's video, we're going to be doing the export list in the auto shop. Now, if you guys do not know, this is actually going to be paying double money at double RP this entire week. But if you guys go over to your auto shop and come over here to this whiteboard, you guys are going to see there is a whole list of different vehicles that actually can spawn in randomly inside of sessions that you guys are in. So all you're going to want to do for this money method is basically roam around in a GTA 5 online session. It could be invite only if you want to until you guys see a blue dot appear on your map and it's going to say exotic X export vehicle once you guys see that you're basically just going to want to approach the vehicle there's not going to be anybody with guns around it it's literally super simple you just come up to the vehicle get inside of it and once you guys are inside of it it's going to tell you to go drop it off over at the docks and then you guys will be getting paid a pretty good amount of cash make sure you guys don't crash this vehicle when you guys are on the way over there because if you do crash it you might get a little bit less money than you're supposed to so yeah, just drive it over to the docks and I'll be back with you guys once I arrive over there. So you guys can see right here, I am now at the docks. And once you guys arrive at the docks, you're simply just going to want to drop it off right here at this yellow circle. And it's basically now going to put you through a cutscene where a crate drops down and basically just collects the car. After that, you're going to be getting paid. And it's actually a pretty good amount of money considering that we only spent around two minutes doing this. You can see you get paid $40,000 every time you do one of these exotic export vehicles. So yeah, it's a pretty cool way to make money if you ever see one of those blue dots appear here on your map this week but now let's get into the sixth money method in today's video so for this money method we're going to be doing the double money and double rp transform races so in order to start this up open up your pause menu go over here to where it says jobs then play job then rocks are created go to stunt races go all the way to the bottom where it says transform and you guys can see all of these transform races are going to be paying double money and double rp this entire week so go ahead and start up whichever one of these you guys want to. In this case, I ended up starting up this one right here. And now let me show you guys what to do for the settings. Now, as far as settings go, you're going to want to put race type set to non-contact. I personally like setting it to that. And then put the number of laps set to 7. And then put destroy last place every 60 seconds. Now, trust me, these are the best settings to make a lot of money in RP. And also, you don't have to worry about people crashing into you or the race taking forever. You just make a lot of money without spending that much time and without worrying about people crashing into you. Anyway, once once you guys are in the race, you're going to want to make sure that you try your best to come in either first, second, or third place. Because as you guys know, first, second, and third place pays the most amount of money and also RP. So I'm just going to skip ahead right now and show you guys how much money I got for getting first place. And here's how much money you guys will end up getting if you guys get first place as well. You can see I got paid a total of $48,000, which is not that bad. And take a look at this RP. It's actually really good. Almost 14,000 RP. So I'd say if you're looking into leveling up this week or if you just want to make a lot of RP, this is for sure the thing you're going to want to be doing this week. Transform races. It's not the best for money, but it is excellent for RP. Here you guys can see here's how much money in RP every single other person got in the race as well. Anyway, let's now get into the very last money method in today's video. So finally, now getting into the last money method, we're going to be doing the RC Bandito time trial, and this is going to be located over here at the construction site, somewhat in the middle of the city. So make your way over here to this exact spot. And once you guys come over here, you're going to want to walk up to the time trial and click right on the D pad to start it. As soon as you guys start it, you're basically just going to want to take your time with this time trial because the construction site time trial this week can be a little bit tricky, especially the fact that there are so many different obstacles in the way so as long as you guys take your time and don't crash that much you should be able to beat it and once you guys do beat it here is how much money you end up getting paid you can see right here i just beat it and i got paid one hundred and one thousand dollars and for only one minute and 45 seconds that is pretty good 
But yeah, that is now going to be the last money method in today's video. Like I said, hopefully you guys did go on to enjoy. If you guys did go on to enjoy today's video, definitely do me a favor. Go down below and drop a like. Also, hit that subscribe button with post notifications turned on. That way you never miss out on any future GTA 5 online videos from me. But that's basically it for me. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.